Hello everybody, this is Xenocat823543, welcoming you back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. I fixed the brightness issue, but, ooh, this video is a bit crook, this is a bit crooked. There we go. That's better. Yeah, I managed to get the brightness issue fixed, so now you guys can read all of the words, so that's nice. That's just saying you can die now. Same thing as before, use arts. Uh, no, brightness. There we go. That's better. Still can't really see it, but it's press A, basically. It's the same thing. Backslash deals damage. Yeah. Light heal restores HP. Pretty simple. You can choose who will be healed. That person in the tutorial sucks at this battle. You can't use the same art repeatedly, there's a cooldown period. Yay, we got over that. That happens when you use the first art. The reason it filled up again is because the battle ended. Using talent arts, yeah. You have to use it. You can only use it when it's full, usually. Music change, yay. This is the general music for this area. And you see those two things in the distance, in the background, after I finish this test chest. Those are enemy icons, basically. And that little thing that appeared above the enemy. That's all it is. It just tells you, at a glance, information about the enemy. Be aware of aggro. Yep. Some are, yeah. I think you know that, too. Yeah, some basics. The reason I'm not using arts against this guy is because I want to top, I want to... Is because I want to inflict break on him so I can do topple him like that. Thanks, Ryan. That was a close one. Man, what were you doing wandering off by yourself? Stay where I can keep an eye on you. It's pretty dangerous outside of the colony. There are all kinds of monsters. Yeah, but thanks to you, we got it shell. Everyone in the colony is going to be really happy. I'm more worried about you than the shell. Oh, whatever. Man, what you're like, at least you'll make a decent weapon out of it. This scrap driver's excellent. I just learned by watching Dixon make weapons. Of course, Dunban's weapon still beats them all. The Monado. I hope I can figure out the secret of his power one day. You will shoot. Anyway, we better get back to the colony. If I'm late for drills again, old Square Tash is gonna kill me. Square Tash? Oh, the Defense Force Colonel. He's pretty scary. Tell me about him. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. Yeah, follow the arrow to advance the story. I don't care about following the arrow. Yet. Yeah, two camera tutorial. You can, yeah, we can save now. And load and change settings. We can review tutorials in, at any time. That other thing in there, the other option that's highlighted in there, it is change time. That indicates an addition. Top, let's press it. Oh, it's topple status. And the music stopped playing. Let's look at the tutorials that we've gotten. Camera continued. Yeah, just some stuff. Yeah. We also have Battle Tactics Shulk. Yeah, just some hints about how they work.
Big top one days, very useful debuffs. And that's what we get from that guy. You get those every time. Like, it's a guaranteed drop. Sorry about spinning the camera around. But yeah, we're trapped. And you can see the map up in the corner that shows us basically where we are. It has a clock even. It started at 9 a.m. It started us at 9 a.m. What you want to do is run through and passing up the enemies. You want to gather collectibles for the Collectopedia. I'm going to be putting these in the Collectopedia as we go along. Yeah, that's inventory Collectopedia. That's not accessible yet. I will post all these achievement descriptions in the video description, including the one that we got at the beginning of this video, or rather, the end of last video, but it was still there at the beginning of this video. I'll put that in this one. That's all grayed out. Party. Who's in your party, basically? You can look at equipment. Now... When we're about to get to the point where we're going to, where a party member will leave, I will strip that party member. However, this doesn't happen very often. And it's not a spoiler, really. I might start forgetting to do it later on, but later on it doesn't matter so much. It's just hard to remember. Collectopedia items, I will be posting the trades for when I finish, whenever I finish the Collectopedia. Oh, I should show you the, the descriptions. That's Sweet Wasabi, Cool Potato, Moonflower. Just some little descriptions about the items. As you can see, we're bending in, and there's a town there. Ooh. White Beetle. What is that? Don't worry, we're getting close. We're close to being done. You can press Z to change page. You want A is how you put them in. And it takes up one of the one of the collectible. We're about to start the cutscene, as you notice the number has gone down to 95 from 400 something. There's strong dandelion. And this cutscene actually Ryan needs the party in. So you can't remove their weapon, but I'm going to use this to show you what happens when you remove all their equipment. Ryan decides to dress in purple undergarments. Okay then. I feel bad sending him to Defense Force training like this, but <laughs> hey, it'll make the cutscene funny. And this isn't a really serious cutscene, so. And we're in Colony 9. Hey. Yeah, that'll come up at the beginning of each area, basically. And this is the town music. Oh, there's a large black spot there. I should probably... Fix I'll are. fix that between videos. I'm going to stop in at HQ. You're off to the weapon development lab? Yeah. When I've sold any parts, I can't use. All right. See you later. Yeah, I'm not going to be selling much. No. Yeah, Ryan left the party. But I still have all of Ryan's equipment because I removed it. I don't need to equip it though. Visiting the shops. You can buy and sell anything here. Yeah, that uh, icon means that it's a shop. 
You sell loot, but I don't want to sell loot. At least I don't think I do. I'll check between videos whether I can sell it or not. I have a list of quest material. There's a list of quest materials and quest collectibles that I have. Accepting quests. Yeah, they might want you to kill someone. Some enemies, not people, obviously. They might want you to grab some collectibles, grab some red, some key item, grab some materials, kill some powerful, unique monster, which are basically the mini bosses. Mini bosses and super non bosses that aren't required for story, except for one. But we'll get into him later. Yeah, you can trade with item. You can trade some items for other items depending on the value. Collectibles are worth 10 times as much when trading rather than selling, so I do advise using collectibles for trading. And you don't have to do those. More tutorials! Oh my gosh, hints quests. Yeah, there's a quest log, and you get more affinity with the area for completing quests. Anything else? No. And we're at the main entrance, and we discover the commercial district. Uh, I don't want to do anything really else in this video, but this is a short video. I'm going to leave the colony, of course. Grab some items. Grab those three items. Pretty simple, really. Ooh, blue chain. We have two Dawn Hydrangeas, which complete the flower collective category. What do we get? What happens when you complete a category? You get something. In this case, we get a Poison Defense 3 com for completing the flower category of this Collectopedia page. There's a blue chain, it's a part. We also have the other page, but we don't have to worry about that until much later. One thing I forgot to go over is that this is area maps, so you can skip travel, which is basically warping, to any landmark you've discovered. You can also press 1 if you're playing the Wii version to open the map. As you can see, this is what I've discovered so far. So not much. I've discovered the commercial district, the main entrance landmark, and the Mekon wreckage site where we were at the beginning. That's also a landmark. Otherwise, and then you can see the path that I took, and then you can see the path that I took, which is that light area. I'm sorry, I'm really just trying to use up extra time in this video, because usually I don't get to this point. So yeah. I think that's going to have to be it for this video. Sorry it's a short video, but there's not much else I want to do. I mean, I guess we can look at various parts of the colony, but I'll be doing colony exploration next episode, though. So, next time on Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles, we will explore the outskirts of the colony, both day and night. Oh. I guess I can show you the change time feature. Sorry. I'll start it at noon. Okay. See you then.